I would like to tell you the story about how the Impressionists formed and how art became art for art's sake. It's true, the story of Impressionism began with a small group of artists who were rejected from the prestigious yet very dark and rigid art academies, salons, and government-sanctioned exhibitions in Paris. But that's only part of the story. Like many art movements, there were a number of factors that led up to the birth of Impressionism. At the turn of the century, in France, the French Revolution had ended, and the Industrial Revolution was in full swing. There were new inventions like the camera, so the sewing machine, and the steam engine that all made life a little easier and more, and more accessible to all. There was a lot going on, but what does that have to do with Impressionism? You see, prior to the 1840s, painters made a living recording events, religion, history, and or people. They were commissioned by churches to paint religious scenes by the government to paint historical events, and by rich to paint portraits. It's not necessarily what they wanted to paint, but it's what paid the bills. With the invention of the camera, people could have their portraits taken for a fraction of the cost, in a lot less time, and in true likeness. Many of the painters were very, or understandably, very upset because they were now out of a job. Artists had to redefine themselves because they weren't needed. That group of rebel artists I was talking about before, they saw an opportunity. They saw an opportunity to break away from the dark still light, the historical paintings, the portraits that the institutions were producing. This was a chance to liberate artists so that they could create what they were inspired to create, not what they were told to create. The Impressionists embraced the challenge to change that emerged from the invention of the camera. The Impressionists wanted to paint everyday life, but they also wanted to paint outdoors. They started to paint light, not necessarily the object, with loose, expressive brushwork and color. In 1874, the Impressionists had their first exhibition at the studio of characterist, novelist, and photographer, that's right, photographer, Felix Nadar. The show wasn't an immediate success. In fact, the first couple of exhibitions that they had actually cost them money rather than made them money. The Impressionists finally gained recognition and their name, The Impressionists, after a snooty French art, art critic by the name of Louis Leroy reviewed their first major exhibition. He used Claude Monet's title of the painting Impression Sunrise, and wrote that the paintings of the show were just impressions of the painting. Instead of being insulted, most of the Impressionists, who were then called the Independents, started to call themselves the Impressionists, and it stuck. If there's anything to learn from the Impressionists, it's to embrace change and pave a brave new path.